Helping stranded drivers on the side of the road should not be one of America's most deadly jobs, but unfortunately it is. A recent AAA study found that two people are killed every month in the U.S. by drivers who fail to obey move-over laws. Tony has more in today's Behind the Wheel. The statistics are staggering. Two people die every month because they are struck and killed by cars while they are on the roadside. These are folks who are first responders or tow technicians, ambulance, police, fire, even maybe a civilian who's pulled over to help a stranded motorist. If you're thinking there ought to be a law to prevent that, well, there is. In fact, for more than 10 years, every state in the U.S. has had a law on the books requiring drivers to slow down or move over when they're passing any vehicle showing emergency lights while stopped on the side of the road. The problem is the law is supposed to help, but it doesn't because drivers are either unaware of the law or they don't comply. People don't slow down and they don't move over. Which is why more than half of all people with jobs that put them on the side of the road have had a close call. We were picking up a car that had slid on the ice. We'd had a recent weather event and we were loading up this vehicle and um, another motorist came traveling too high a rate of speed for the conditions and they actually hit the car that we were loading. But as soon as I heard the squealing tires, I was like, this is it. Just like in a second, bam. So. Not a lot of time to really think about it. It just happened. If scary stories and statistics don't convince you that the move over law is one you should obey, maybe a picture will help. This is Cody with his wife and child. These are the people you're protecting when you move over and slow down. You don't think of roadside workers as having one of the most dangerous jobs in the country, but they do. The AAA Foundation for Traffic Safety found one strategy for drivers who do get stuck on the side of the road is to have and use visual safety devices. Even the use of things like flares, cones, other lighting patterns, which can be used on vehicles, those do help to get people to slow down, move over. Of course, none of that would be necessary if drivers would just pay attention and do the right thing. I don't know that I would even call it an inconvenience to move over or slow down, you know? It's just it's just what we should all do. We should all take care of each other. Tony Martinez, Fox 12 Oregon. You know what strikes me is that he says, you know, we should all take care of each yeah. other. And I think a lot of people would be inclined to help a stranded motorist, just civilians like, like you right. and I. Uh, but I really wouldn't recommend that because you're really taking a huge risk. Right. If Very you dangerous. work in, in the industry where that's part of your job, that's, you know, right. it's, you're sure. getting into but I mean if you're just like the driving average along, person yeah I just it's you're taking a huge huge risk you know, we just had a situation just the other day on the roads my husband and I and we moved over you mm -hmm. know and and because everybody was moving over that lane was slower and a right. person behind behind us was like woohoo and lane. just yeah. Yeah, took the oh, lane man. because they're like nobody's in front of me now yeah. so things like that it's like ah just be very yeah. well, just need to slow down yeah, yeah. yeah. right yeah. pay attention in general yeah. just yeah. take your time and this is a good, good morning advice. to take your time because exactly. we've had icy roads yeah. and Tony you've seen some of the issues that yeah. is, that's caused. So let's